Theodore and Claire were each asked to factor the term 24x to the fifth as the product of two monomials. Their responses are shown below. So Theodore factored 24x to the fifth as being equal to 8x third times 3x squared. And Claire factored 24x to the fifth as being equal to 4x times 6x to the fourth. And then they ask us which of the students factored 24x to the fifth correctly. So I encourage you, pause the video and see if you can figure, out, figure this out. Which of them factored it correctly? All right, now let's first look at Theodore. So he factored it into these two monomials, 8x to the third and 3x squared. Well, let's just see if we were to multiply these two things, do we get 24x to the fifth? So if you multiply 8 times 3, you do indeed get 24. And then all you have to do is multiply the x terms, or the, the, x, the powers of x. You have x to the third times x squared. That indeed does equal x to the fifth. So Theodore did factor it correctly. This is one factorization, I guess you could say, of 24x to the fifth. Now let's look at Claire. So Claire, if we were to take just the coefficients, 4 times 6 is indeed equal to 24. And then if we were to look at the powers of x, we have x to the first power here times x to the fourth power, which is going to be x to the fifth power. So Claire also factored it correctly. And this just goes to show you that there's more than one possible factorization of a monomial like 24x to the fifth. I could come up with another one. I could write something like 24x to the fifth. I could say that that is 12x I could write that as 12x to the third times, let's see, what would have to be left? 12 times 2 is 24, so 2x squared. That's another possible factorization. So uh, clearly, there's just more, more than one way to factor this monomial into two other monomials.